I will consider reading you this month. Huh? <laughs> hey guys, it's Kira. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be doing my March TBR. Will I stick to this TBR? I don't know. But I did good last month. So if you didn't see my wrap up, it'll be up there. I don't know how these uh, videos work. It's just a bunch of books that I'm hoping to read this month. If you kind of just want to follow whatever I'm reading this month, my Goodreads is down below, as well as my TikTok and my Instagram. Go follow those because I'm actually pretty active on them. I'm just going to give like a brief synopsis on some of these. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. The first book, which I know I want to start literally March, like I wanted to start it like three days ago. That is Lotus by Jennifer Hartman, which this has been on my TBR, I think since like August of 2022. So it's about damn time. And I'm so, so excited. All I know is that it's kind of like Archer's voice, but not really. It's about this kid who got like kidnapped 22 years later he finally escapes he's reunited with his childhood best friend and i think she used to have a crush on him when they were younger i have no idea all i know is that he has been you know separated from the world for this amount of time and it's kind of just him coming back and ad adapting to all of the changes and everything and sydney comes and helps them yeah that's all they pretty much know it is a pretty thin book. The cover is so freaking stunning. Look at it. Look at that. Lotus by Jennifer Harbin. Next up is a kind of new, I wouldn't say new genre for me. I guess it kind of is. I've never read a mystery slash thriller book and this is The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. I don't know if I said that at all correctly. Yeah, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> Who knows that this girl's a housemaid and there's some things going on. And I think I'm gonna read this second because it's due in like the second week of March. So the housemaid, I'm gonna give it a try. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So very excited for my first mystery slash thriller book. Ah. Okay, next two books. I don't have physical copies for both of them because one is coming to me from the library. And I'm finally Finally, dipping into my fantasy era. I'm going to enter my fantasy era this month. Yeah, I'm reading two popular fantasy um, series. I'm pretty sure everybody could guess which one it is. So, Court of Thorns and Roses. We are entering the Akatar world. We're doing it. And what is this about? I don't know. All I know is that it is some fantasy series where some girl gets, I don't know, she went hunting and then killed something by accident and then enters this world. I'm very excited. I've heard actually the second book is people's favorites, so I don't know how much I'm going to like this. Entering the Akatar era. This next one, which I have to be very delicate to because this book is in very rough shape from the library. <sighs> We're entering the Shatter Me world. I'm, I'm going to be in my Shatter Me era. And this book is literally hanging on by a thread. Shatter Me by... I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that name. I know the last name is Mafi. I know that everybody loves Aaron Warner. So I was like, well, I want to get the hype around Aaron Warner. All I know about this is that... What's her name? Juliet? Juliet can't touch people or they die. It's like a dystopian fantasy world. I have read a dystopian series before back in 2020. It was... I think it's the Crossed series. If I could put a picture of what it is, I think it's like a YA dystopian world thing. I ended up really liking it. And I just never picked up fantasy again after that. And here we are three years later. So I'm trying it out. I'm gonna see the hype and I will be doing a reading vlog on this. So everybody get excited because I am very excited. Yeah, Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher, which I have the final offer. This is actually the one that I saw first on TikTok. I didn't know it was part of a series and I had to just get the whole thing. <laughs> Marriage of Convenience. Jacqueline wants to end up being like the CEO of 
dreamland um he has to have a wife and then have a baby i don't know i don't remember like her relation iris's relation to declan i don't know if it's like personal assistant but it's something like that this is pretty much everybody's favorite other than the final offer now so i'm just very excited to go back into the dreamland world and the cover is just so pretty terms and conditions by lauren asher just read the first book because it was so very good i do recommend series even though i've read one next up which i definitely also want to read this month hopefully um is juniper hill by devity perry which if you did not see any of my videos last month i read two of her books and loved both of them i read the first book in this series and i was like no i need i need to read the next one i'm picking up juniper hill this month i heard this is pretty much everybody's favorite this is about memphis who kind of is a single mom and picks up everything in her life and moves to Quincy. She's hired by Eloise, one of the sisters, to work at the hotel. And there's nothing really in her budget, so she ends up moving into kind of like a place above a garage of Knox, who is one of the Eden kids. And yeah, it's just their love story. I, all I know is that I saw something on TikTok about it and was immediately hooked because I love me a single parent trope and grumpy neighbor. Super Hill by Debbie Perry. Next up we have Twisted Hate by Anna Huang, which I'm, I wouldn't say I'm not excited for this book. I don't have very high hopes personally for this book. Yeah, this, all I know is about Jules and Josh. Jules is part of the friend group. Josh is Ava's brother. It's just an enemies to lovers. Like they like hate each other. Like they really despise each other and it's enemies to lovers. I don't know anything more than that other than I don't really like Josh. <laughs> I could end up loving this one. I really don't know. I just don't personally have the enemies with benefits thing. I'm just trying to get this one over with so I can read the fourth book. Anyway, third book in the series. Yeah, Twisted Hate by Anna Huang. Next up, I have wanted to read this one forever. And I was like, Kira, like, it's about time. Like, you just gotta pick it up. And obviously, it's a hockey romance because when am I not reading one? And it's Consider Me by Becca Mack. All I know is that it's something about he was a player until he met me. I think boy either falls first or falls harder, something like that. He's an NHL hockey player. I just, that's all I know. You had me at like hockey romance. That's all I really need to know about the book to read it. And I heard that it can be very cringy at some points because it was a Wattpad book. Consider me my Becca Mac. The last book that I have to share with you guys today, again, I could be adding like 15 more books and not reading any of these, but it's The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. I'm very excited about this book. All I know is like i know a lot about these books but like it's kind of been a while that they've been on my tbr that i kind of forget what they're about i know that it's about this girl who her mom took her like, away from her dad when she was very young because she didn't want to live in like this town in alaska or something and she's coming back to the town because i think her dad's having health problems or something and this is where she meets she meets Jonah and he's a flight attendant flyer dude. <laughs> flyer dude. Yeah, he they're just their romance. He's very grumpy. He's like doesn't want her in this town. I love me a small town. Um grumpy sunshine romance. They're just they hit every time. It's a very highly anticipated read. Hopefully a five star for me. Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. These are some of the books I'm hoping to get to this month. A lot of highly anticipated reads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanna just keep up again with what I'm reading at times. My socials will be down below, TikTok and Instagram, and then my Goodreads. Again, I don't know if I'll read any of these books, but I kinda of just like to give myself a little bit of lit, a little list, cause I'm a mood reader. These are just some options that I'm feeling at this moment. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!